Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to make chicken stir fry. Um, I'm making a very small portion. I make a big portion and try to take it to work. Somebody's going to have a problem with it because they always want some type of sample. sample. So right now I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Hopefully it tastes right. But I'm just basically trying to um, show you how easy it is to put a meal together and how quick it is to put a meal together. So a lot of what I do, basically reading directions, making it simple. Um, with the ingredients you normally buy every day chicken your seasoning salt rice you can do a lot with that you get some vegetables you get the right type of oil and fry on it so let's get right into it because i do not like a lot of talking in my videos i probably will say that a lot and um let's get to it so as you can see i already got the chicken laid out you can do chicken breast you can do chicken strips i do the lazy version uh chicken strips i don't think i'm gonna do cut these up into cubes season it real good you can season it however you want because like i said we're just kind of doing a little um we kind of making this up as we go so i kind of don't have a recipe to go by i already have my oil here and my want um i love this thing um because it heats up evenly all around right so this oil here is sesame seed oil okay this is uh probably what i mainly use for stir fries chicken fried rice something that, somewhere in the chinese food uh, world i already got my cup of water boiling remember i mean i'm sorry i already have my two cups of water boiling every cup of rice you need a double amount of water so if you have one cup of rice you need to put two cups of water in your pan my pan is kind of big um for a cup of rice or for the amount of rice i'm putting in here but it's in my dishwasher so that's why i have this big old pan but this is two cups of water what i'm doing is letting it boil I start, i'm starting to see little bubbles at the bottom i don't know if you guys can see Let's see see those little bubbles at the bottom and then i'm gonna put a cup of rice in here and then let it simmer out i am letting this heat up before i put my chicken in there and once it heat up then i'm going to toss my chicken in there and start cooking so right now i'm just going to chop up my meat you can do this any way you want i am not a professional however you can cut your chicken if you don't want to cut your chicken if you want to wait to the last moment go ahead and do so but what i will recommend you do is cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces also, whoever's watching the video, if you have better um, ways to season in your chicken than what I'm seasoning my chicken with, go and put in the comments what it is, because I sure do not mind trying something new. I've always been looking for a good season recipe for my chicken breasts, chicken strips, fried chicken. I try new things all the time just to get that right seasoning. You don't have to be as fast as I am. You know, take your time. Um, one thing I do want to say, the bigger the pieces, the longer it takes to cook. And since we already not cooking our chicken for a long time because we kind of want that perfect temperature, we want a nice bite-sized pieces like, like this. This is okay. Y'all can see that. I already rinsed off my meat, just in case people were wondering. I already rinsed this off. I always rinse off my meat. That's how I was brought up. You was brought up differently. That's just you. And this is me. Okay, I think I got everything into a nice. I'm just spreading it out so it can be even. Like I said, you can season it with whatever you want to season it with. This is how I season it. I coat my chicken like so. I don't do that one pinch. You know, in this household, you know what I'm saying? I coat it because I like tasting. A little garlic. This might not even be the right ingredients to put in there, but I put onion powder in here because um, I'm not putting onions in here. 
They don't put a little Cajun seasoning. You know, they say the um, more the spice is supposed to be good for you. Even though I know this really ain't going to do too much anything. But, and I'm sure at this point, if you're so scared to touch it, you might want to keep doing the knife. Or mix it up. I'm not scared to touch it. I was being lazy. I am not even going to hold you up. But I'm mixing it all around. And now. Uh oh. Technical difficulties. Now I think it's time. Mm -hmm. See if it's hot. Yep, it's hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna put oil is gonna spray it out. Let my chicken cook first. Usually every time I make a meal, I try to add shrimp anywhere I can. I'm just about to wash my hands with my touch utensils. I kind of wash my hands quite often. Sorry about that. I had to put on some music because it helps me go a little bit faster. Hopefully you can see that. Hmm. All right, you should be able to see that. And I'm just gonna mix it around. It do not take long to cook this chicken. have trap music every time I cook my videos but see it's time to cook on one side already Let's see if I can get a close up hope y'all can see this turn the heat up a little bit because I turned it down my dishes is cooking and while that's cooking I have my water over here I don't want it to boil out like it did last time it's not boiling like I want to but the bottom I think it's because of the pan I got it in actually I don't know if y'all can see that. The little bubbles. About to put a cup of rice in there. Cause you want your rice cooking while everything else is cooking. Close to being done. Let's 
to I'll get you a better view. Don't want to get you that view. y'all can see that you probably ain't gonna be able to see the right side find a perfect position to put my camera but I can't wait no longer and I have to move, um, stir my chicken because as you see, it's cooking. We want this at the perfect temperature, so we kind of want to make sure we catch this at a good enough time. I already put my rice in here. My rice is definitely boiling. I just hope I put enough rice in there. If not, we have backup. I'm gonna turn the heat up so this can go a little faster. Let's continue stirring it around. And what I'm gonna do is after this cook, I'm gonna go ahead and put my stir fry vegetables in, in here, but I'm gonna take my chicken out just because I don't want the chicken to cook longer than what it has already cooked because we want to get it at the perfect temperature. And um I don't know if it's going to overcook, which I'm sure it is, because the frozen vegetables have um, water still attached to it, and it's still got to cook itself, so that means it's going to be on the heat still. So I kind of, basically right now, I turned my chicken around to the pink side, so I can cook on the pink side. Let's see if I can give you a close up. Now what I'm just about to do is get my bowl ready because as you can see we kind of close. It's just a little pink right here and here. So that means it's a little pink probably all, all throughout this little uh, dish and I'm just going to give it a few minutes to finish browning. up in a good enough size so I can break it apart to see if it's done. But while that's cooking, shoot. My rice is also boiling. 
And when your rice boil like this, remember we put a cup of ri uh, rice in here. When your rice is boiling like that, you want to cover it. And you want to turn, let's see if I can do this, turn your temperature down. So it can simmer. Let's go back over to this chicken. Remember, we're trying to catch it at the right time. And I think we are at the point where it's cooked, but some of these fat pieces, I'd be just a little skeptical. So, I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. We are 16 minutes in, and we're halfway done. I'm just about to prep my stir fry bag by opening it up. This is a resellable bag, which is pretty cool. And let's break one of these bad babies open. Which I believe we are done. And I think I want this one right here. Do, 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 do. Oh, shoot. I'm putting it in a bowl. Because if the big mamba, or I should say the biggest piece of chicken is cooked through, that means these little ones is cooked through. Like I said, you can season it whatever you want to season, whatever gets the job done. This is what I season it with. I'm not a professional. I'm winging it and I'm finding better ways to basically cook my chicken. So, um, let's cut this one over. I don't want to stay still for me. I got something for you. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you can. Another cool thing about the wine, it don't seem like my food ever cooked as fast as it would another pan. Let's try this big one. I'm just cooking this a little longer because I want to make sure it's done. They are some pretty nice bite-sized pieces. Look, I think we're done. Let's try. 
I am a fan of always taste testing your food. That's how you gonna know. Yep. Almost lost one. Now, what we about to do is put a little bit more sesame seed oil. Okay. Ooh. I know I don't know if my pan look a little crooked to you, but it's a little crooked to me. And then we're gonna put a nice amount of vegetables in here once it heat up a little bit checking on this rice i don't know if y'all can see it but it's most definitely boiling see that go on here and let that boil Let this heat up a bit. All right. Taking one of my packets out. I might try that, I don't know. You just got the vegetable in and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it because it's like until it like warm up because it's already kind of cooked and we just gonna help cook it to soften it up and basically warm it up then we're gonna throw our chicken in there and if the sauce is right I might throw the sauce in there too that's how the sauce packet come this I brought this from Walmart y'all can see that I don't know if it's better with the lights off because I got my own camera light I'm just gonna mix it around and what I'm gonna also do is because it's a thaw under warm water I'm gonna put it on my stove because my stove gets hot 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 and let it warm up that way. We're gonna cook stir fry vegetables. Mix it in around. So this tell me that I'm supposed to cover it and let it cook for 11 minutes. So it's almost like steaming it. Now, I really don't have a big enough pan, but this one that I was using for my, I might can use this and call myself covering it for about 11 minutes. That's what the bag say. Remember, I'll follow directions sometimes. And they say stir occasionally, so I'm going to kind of let this sit here. Then I'm thinking, what am I going to do with this rice? <laughs> I reached a dilemma. Maybe next time. Rice looking like it's almost done. I don't know. Maybe I can. Oh, y'all, the rice is almost done. So I ain't gonna need it. I put a little bit more water. Put the 
rice is almost done, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna let this cook, turn up the heat so it can go faster. I hope that's a better view. Gotta excuse this stain that somebody wasted on my dang flow. I turned up the heat. you think we're gonna get done probably but um in 30 minutes 30 give or take a minute it probably could have been 30 if I was well prepared Right now I'm just kind of cleaning as I go. This is past my bedtime. I have to work. Seven minutes for this to be finished, or maybe we're not gonna be done in 30 minutes. <laughs> but my rice seems to be doing well. Let's take a look at the rice real quick. Still got that package on there warming up on the stove. And you got your rice over here. Can y'all see that? Actually. About time for us to taste this. Okay, maybe we need to cook a little longer. <laughs> Let's get back over here with this, these veggies. Let that cook, let that cook. 
You know what? I'm thinking of putting the whole bag in here. The whole sauce bag. Why not? Try something new. Just occasionally stirring. So they said it's supposed to be cooked. Then we supposed to pour the sauce packet in. Try one out. Almost there. Call it a chandelier. Hey. still at my rice bowl because right now it's giving me a hard time you see my first video my first video I'll let you know that I have a hard time cooking rice like I might need to invest in a rice cooker because cooking rice isn't my favorite thing to do <laughs> It's cooking, and so is my rice. And then we're gonna put the sauce in there. We're gonna let the sauce cook for two more minutes, and then um, we're gonna put the chicken in there too. See the sauce? A little bit more on thaw, but it definitely will be once we put it inside here. Keep Now that the sauce is in, we are going to stir. We want to wake these juices up, warm this up. This is a little flavor. Just a little bit. Smelling like some good stuff. Actually, Wow, that's warm enough. We're gonna take this chicken that we got here. Go ahead and add that up in there. 
with all this juice here. Mix that all in. At this point, we just warmed up the sauce and the chicken. Can y'all see that goodness? See what I'm saying? Just warming up the goodness. Let's see if I can get you a better shot. Bam! Now, about to turn this down. Great. It's okay. Different taste. Off. Check on the rice. 